Good morning. Today we are stripping sealer. So it'll be the first time that I've shown this process on the channel. And uh, it's old sealer that was having issues right when they put it down eight years ago. It started coming up as white because there was moisture trapped underneath the pavers. There's concrete under these pavers, so it's easy to trap moisture. And when you seal it with an acrylic sealer, sometimes this is the result. So as you can see here, that's what happens. So we got this area in here that we're gonna clean and put down a stripper to get it off. And we're using a new type of stripper. Back in the day, we used to use a stripper called Dad's. And it has recently been discontinued because of the toxins in it. It's really not good to breathe in or work with or be around. So we have a much more friendly stripper now we'll see how friendly it is I've never used it before and we'll see how good it works but this little paver section we're just gonna pressure wash it there is no sealer on it currently so that's all good and inside this lanai there is sealer on it, but it is not showing wear like out there because it's hidden from the elements. And it's pretty good. So, we're waiting on the stripper to get delivered here to us. So in the meantime, we are going to pressure wash off the paper pad with no sealer. And then when we get the stripper, We'll start putting the stripper down and seeing what it does. Somewhere out of the trailer, I think. Yeah, and I gotta pressure wash some of them corners by the rocks. Alright, you can start it back up. Time to throw on the old booties. Should we use this Johnny today? No, that other one, that broom is way stiffer. And we don't use it for anything, so.
that's the one place I would go to again for Black Friday. Bass Pro Shop. Oh yeah, Bass Pro Shop's always move. Dude, you get, they have five dollar hoodies, five dollar these are five bucks. That's huge going on in there. I start scrubbing that thing. So first test will go at five minutes because it says five to ten minutes on the thing. So, and then if that don't do good, then we'll let it sit for ten minutes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you guys good? Do you need water or anything? Oh, we're good. We got we got a cooler full. Yeah. Anything, let me know. Thank you. Go. We appreciate it. What's up, Diesel? <laughs> Shoot, we got the trees covered today. Yeah, until about twelve o'clock, one o'clock. Yeah. It'll probably it's better though, so that it could dry up yeah. faster. I'd rather have sun on this, honestly. We always got shade right there. So as you can see, some of the sealer is coming off pretty easy on these pavers, and then other areas, it's not coming off so easy. Maybe half of the paver will come off and the rest of it won't. This stripper is not the best stripper that we were using. I can't even remember the name of it. Um, it was the first time I ever used it. Like I was saying earlier in the video, we used to use a stripper called Dad's Stripper, and they no longer make it anymore because of the toxins that are in it. And uh, it's very, I guess, deadly. They're having issues with uh, medical reasons with it. But we ended up using this stripper until the whole five-gallon can was gone. And there was still quite a bit of sealer left on the pavers. So I reached out to one of my buddies who specializes in sealing pavers and concrete. That's basically his whole company. So he has a lot of jobs where he has to go in and strip sealer as well. And he told me to use a product called Cobble Strip. He said that's what he uses and it's really the best uh, around right now. So I went ahead and got a thing of Cobble Strip in a couple days after realizing that this stripper just was not good enough. Well, tore up the sprayer nozzle. So now we gotta go to the rolling method. Well, this is not the easiest. That is for sure. We're using the roller now. I'm walking this way so I can get away from the pressure washer noise. We're using the roller now, rolling it on because it tore up our sprayer. And uh, we're having some areas that are just a real pain and then other areas it comes off easily. You know, it, this has been sealed twice. One guy came and did it and apparently messed it up. There was a lot of white on top, a lot of efflorescence. And then another guy came and tried to fix it and made it worse. So it's a lot easier to hire a good sealing company than a DIY guy than it is to come and strip it all off. I mean, it's such a pain. 
I wish I had another can of that dad's sealer stripper laying around. It discontinued it because it was so toxic. But I think it worked better. I mean, this stuff it smells like acetone. And it works, but some of the real, real thick areas, it doesn't work very well. And I mean, the area Ethan's working on right now, I've done five different coats on that and washed it off five times and it's still not all coming off. So we're doing our best out here, but this might be a multi-day project to really get it clean if we can even get it all clean. It was sealed eight years ago, so it's been on there a while. You'd think it should come off pretty decently, but let's go see how it's looking now. That is such a pain. This is the worst one. Yeah, by far. Alright, so we put another layer on that bad spot. Dumped the whole rest of the bucket. It's really right there. And uh we're gonna clean it off and then clean the whole patio up and get out of here and come back on Monday to do some touch up work but most of it all came clean we just have some areas in here that we have to touch up and then along this edge was really hard for some reason like two feet off of the wall and then this area right here that we just doused that I'm going to give a go again and then a couple areas in this surrounding just like random spotty areas what what is that from <laughs> it's the leather because i took the old nap off and like when i threw the thing oh. on it like immediately took all the paint off and just <laughs> stuck her on my hand that's weird tattoo from the nap one of those sealer things. Did you leave that sealer can open in the trailer on purpose? From the yesterday? No, but it's it's pretty empty, so. Yeah, I, I closed it back up, but it was wide open. Like the lid was off. The lid? Yeah, the black lid. The whole lid was off? Yeah, this oh, okay. Was, this that, was fully yeah. off and it That's was just okay. sitting right here. I thought I was going to say, I no, never no, undid no. the lid. It, Look, feel it. Dusty. Oh. That ain't coming off. Honestly. Put the sealer strip on. <laughs> <laughs> about to I know. Thing fresh now. For real. Lawn company doesn't leak all that. Nope. <laughs> Just left it right in the road. Left it right in the road. It would be nice doing a job like this and the customer has their own skid steer. It's like, oh, I can't lift up a pallet. I got you, bro. Even though that thing can't lift up a pallet. Too small. Well, that thing's probably got a little bit more than the ASV. Def definitely more than the ASV, but it still can't lift up a pallet. Yeah. I remember the 590 Bobcat, the preferred pavers had struggled. They had to get a weight kit for it to lift it up, <laughs> and that thing's a lot smaller than Dude, the 590. Dude, I still can't believe that the ASV doesn't have an actual weight kit. I know. That's so that the way they get you and you gotta buy the bigger one. You think that thing starts up? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. A little ether in her. Oh, we're getting rained out. No way. I'll take it. Yeah, it's not at our house though. I guarantee it ain't raining there. There's just a little a little cloud. It's starting to sprinkle. We need rain very badly. It's been a long drought in Sarasota, Florida. Three months, no rain. 
The only reason the grass is green here is because it's irrigated. My house is a desert. Alrighty, folks. We are headed home. We will be back on Monday. And that is when this video will continue. Good morning. We are back at the job to strip sealer. And hopefully we can get most of it off. So we're going to start on the bottom edge and then work our way up. Because last time we started up there and all the water drains through here. So we want to keep the areas as dry as possible. Get our pressure washer hooked up. We're gonna start on the bottom and then work up east so we don't have water running over. There it is. So this is our second time applying the same stripper that we were using the day before. Um, and I didn't go get a different type of stripper because I wanted to use the rest of this to see if doing multiple coats on areas would help take it off. Um, it pretty much didn't do a whole lot. Um, it was pretty much a wasted day. We went over everything again and nothing was, I mean there was a little bit coming off but not as much as you'd like and not getting all of it off. So we pretty much wasted a whole day here doing it again. And uh, I eventually just made the call to uh, come back the next day and use the correct, um, the correct stripper on this. Um, I didn't know if it was going to be the correct stripper, but I had to try something else because this just was not doing it. Um, we tried and tried and tried again. We spent a lot longer on this job than we wanted to. This was supposed to be a one day thing. It turned into a three day thing. But on the third day, whenever we got the right stripper, I left E to stay and do it. And I went to the Northport job, as you'll see. What you think? I don't like how it just dries up. Or it's like, should we hit it when it's wet or when it's like... It says to wait five to ten minutes, so you think you wait five to ten minutes. Hi Hello. <laughs> how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, stay here. Good. I thought I'd just come out and say hi. I heard the pressure washer going or Yes, ma'am. So thanks for coming back to finish. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Just the little nuisance areas. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it dried up quite a bit though. It was pretty hot this weekend, so Yeah. Um, hopefully you'll be able to hit those wider spots and the edges, I guess. My husband left the gates open so that you can get those Yeah, miles. yeah, I saw that. And then he was wondering, since you're pressure washing anyway, is yeah. there a way you could just win over absolutely. that Absolutely, absolutely. That, that would be awesome. Yeah, we can do that. We'll do that last. Whenever sure. we're done in here, we'll take that fabric up and we'll use our surface cleaner to go through there. Okay. Yeah, that would be great. He was saying if you could. Um, yep. Got it out here just to hit that little pass. would be awesome. Absolutely. Little dove that lives in here. I know, he keeps flying out. It would keep scaring the crap out of me. I'll be over in that corner doing something, then <laughs> right yeah, next to me. Oh my gosh. He's very protective too. He will dodge balls. Dodge bomb, yeah. <laughs> There's one that lives in that one and that one. And uh, yeah, we cleared all this. And yeah, I mean, I can obviously see the difference, but um, like Trudy was saying, I think it would be. That bond's so thick and it's never been in the sun. It would yeah. probably be a real pain to even. I think what I'm gonna do is just throw a nice rug out there and put my little furniture yeah. out, and it'll be. Who cares? You know, yeah. I, I won't really be bothered by. That's it. the best spot for it too, in the shade, chilling with the furniture in there. Yeah, and nobody will even notice. It's a little shinier. I right, looking at these. I wish I'd have just never sealed them at all. I know. <laughs> yeah. My friend said, "Oh, we never sealed ours," and I'm like, "Well, why is it such a big deal to see?" 
uh, sealed and I guess um, just to give it that sheen. Yeah, to give it a sheen. I mean, this was just done wrong, you know. I don't yeah. know exactly what they did, but yeah. we seal stuff all the time. We don't use acrylic based sealer. That's one of the big things. Acrylic based sealer is a lot you can go wrong with, like with oh. the moisture and stuff like that, which is one of the reasons that I think that they turned white like they did. Yeah. We, we, we use a water-based sealer, so you can seal it even when the papers are wet and you're not going to have wow. an issue. So, And it just darkens them up. And they say it really the thing about sealer is it's supposed to prevent stains. Not really prevent stains, but you can always get stains out. So like if you spill your wine on it or whatever, if you just sure. wash it off, it'll come off. Whereas oh, if see. you didn't before, it might soak into the paper and that stain will always be there. Yeah. Yeah. That's really the big reason why people seal stuff. But I see. This was just done. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys did a great job. And yep, was... it'll look cleaner today. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. I have to go to work, so I'll be locking up the house okay. shortly. I just okay. wanted to come out and say, say hi. And yeah, absolutely. Um, you guys can click the thing when you leave. And yep. Yeah. Yeah, I hope you get, you know, sun doesn't come out too. It doesn't blaze you too quick. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. There's plenty of shade back here versus some other places, so it's actually been pretty nice. If we need to get out of the sun, you just walk right over there in the shade. Yeah, and if you need me to move that chair, I can, but... Oh, no, it's, it's fine. It's chair, so... Okay. All right. Well, I'll let you get to it. All right. Thanks, guys. Yes, ma'am. appreciate it. We'll see you later. All right. So we've been working on it for quite a while now, and... There's still some areas that are not coming up. It's like layer after layer. I mean, this stuff was sealed. Probably four coats on it. And, uh... You can tell, like, when you're pressure washing it, you're, like, pressure washing a coat off of it. But then there's still more on the bottom. Like, some of them don't come fully clean, and then other ones come fully clean. So, I just... Put some more stripper over here, and Ethan's going to pressure wash off this side, and then work his way over here. I just put stripper down here, and this was the worst of the areas. Like, we got all that stripper off, but over here you can see this was, this was all just a white blob right here. So, we've gotten most of it off, but there's still quite a bit. We've hit this area, this specific circle, five or six times so far. Alrighty folks, we are going, we ran out of our sealer stripper, there's still quite a bit of area that needs to get the sealer stripped off, but we did the best we can with that can. We are going to use a different type of stripper when we come back, hopefully something more aggressive because that stuff did not work the best. It worked good on some areas and then other areas didn't really work at all. So. That will be it for this job. I'm probably gonna go to that Northport job again today where we prep for an installation and deliver that crew some sweep sand and some concrete. All right, I am at Ruck Brick, our local brick supplier, picking up some uh, wall block so that the guys can build a fire pit. And then I'm gonna go across the street and get my sweep sand and then make that drive down there. Right now it is two o'clock and it's gonna take me an hour and 30 minutes to get down there. So I'm trying to hustle, but it's a little slow at this place getting your material. So that's a little bit annoying. But <clears throat> once I get loaded up, I'm on the road and I will see you guys at the job site. All right, we are back at the Northport job. We're going to go look at it for the first time. 
see there are one, two, three, four, five stacks of pavers left and the customer wants to keep them so I'm gonna have to move those into here and stack them up right here along this wall let's check out what it's looking like oh yeah looks good Fire pit's all done. Everything looks good. Boys did a good job. We don't expect anything less. I kind of wish they would have cut out the pavers right here, though, on the bottom. So the fire pit was in the sand, not on the pavers. Looks good though. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up all of these straps that are here. And clean up some of this excess sand that is on top of this. I'm going to sweep it off and then blow it all off. And then get some after pictures because I got some befores. So I need some before and afters of the job I'm gonna move oh yeah there is some concrete that I have to put down where's that at where is that at? there's concrete there there's concrete there Our pit's all concreted in. What in the world? Maybe he went, because I know he had to run to Home Depot. Maybe he went and got the concrete and finished that. I'm going to give him a call. Alright, I got all the pavers moved. Now it's time to give this a good sweeping. And then a nice little blow off. This should be good to go. I got it all sweeped up so I'm gonna blow it off real quick and then grab a trash bag and start getting all these straps in a trash bag I got the cut pieces in the wheelbarrow I'm just gonna throw the whole wheelbarrow in the trailer and then dump it out when I get back to the house in our concrete pile the key here is just to blow it off at a good angle where you're not blowing all the sand out of the cracks don't want to do that. All right. Now I'm going to throw the old drone up 
and get uh, up high photo of what it looks like. Maybe make a little video. This is Ethan's drone. I'm not exactly the best at it, but we're going to give her a go if I can remember how to work this thing. Alright, so that's forward. There she lands. I'll throw those clips in the video. job Ethan was back stripping with a different stripper this cobble strip and it seemed to work a lot better a lot more of it came out than the last stuff we were using so like especially this one area where it was really bad this circle it's all looks brand new now So pretty happy we finally figured it out. If we would have started using this stripper to start with, it would have gone a lot faster. And we would have been done quickly. But that took a couple days using the wrong stuff. Now we know. Cobble strip is what we're going to be using in the future. So we're going to go ahead and clean this up and get out of here that'll be it for this video thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one